Alright, Hacker Box 28 is here. Let's see what goodies we got this month. Oh, a whole bunch of uh, LED matrixes. Sweet. that they have the boards all with them. I think I have one of these, maybe from a big kit of a whole bunch of centers and Arduino um, pieces that I bought. Some rubber feet, a whole bunch of potentiometers and knobs for them. Looks like pretty decent knobs. ESP32. These always are handy to have. And the Wi-Fi connectivity makes it really easy to, to do uh, home automation projects. Um, this is just a, like a speaker wire. Some Apple knockoff headphones. Unless they're really the Apple ones, but I doubt it. USB cable. Line out. ESP32 Dev Kit Jam Box. Interesting. So I guess all these will go on here. You have all the knobs on here to make adjustments. Oh, there's a bunch of buttons in there, too. I didn't notice. Maybe one. Oh, yeah, a few buttons in there. Some buttons. Audio out. Big sticker. Oh, nice. Some GitHub stickers. Box 28 Jam Box. Yeah, and we, I guess we'll be able to do some different visual visualizations on here with these. So, it should be a neat project. I'm going to try and do this, solder this up tonight. It should be really easy. I'm not sure what all this is for. I think this goes right here. Maybe just extra space if you want to do something else that can connect to the uh, um, board. So yeah, some of those will be connected, looks like, to the The pins. So I guess maybe that's just an extra prototyping space in case you want to add 
some extra components to this. Cool. Alright, so I decided to take these apart, which would make it easier to solder the pins in here. Um, and originally I was getting out some of these headers, which a lot of times I like to, to solder these in so then I can easily pull the boards on and off, but I have such a collection of these boards now that I'm not using for projects yet that uh, I think I'm going to stop doing that with these boxes and just solder everything in. If I really need something, these, these components are so cheap and easy to order that I can just get new ones and it, it'll save time on these assemblies and make sure that these little kits all have all the parts still connected to them so uh, this build should be pretty straightforward um, pretty much everything only fits a certain way on here or the pictures line everything up for you but uh, so I'll probably do a lot of this in fast forward without much explanations but um or maybe actually i'll just do this right away to start um i mean uh, this obviously goes here these go here um these go in here i'll have to look at the instructable before i get to this part but because i can't remember which way it was that these go on if it was this way or this way but i'll clarify that when i get to those uh, these potentiometers will have to bend these leads uh, or I guess maybe you don't call them leads in this point but these are these go into these little holes just to kind of hold them in place so those need to be bent a little bit to make those fit uh, the buttons on the sides over here pretty straightforward assembly on this one uh, should be a quick one just a bunch of straight up soldering so, let's get to it. So I figured out how these uh, boards go on here. Um, they're going to go on here like this because this goes in, it's going to come in through here and then the output is through the bottom which then feeds up into the next one. And then if you took these LEDs off the board, the way these connect back on is that the one side has this little tab and the uh, the model number here that's going to match up with the side of the board that says FC16 so they're going to be basically like this and then that side will be on the the right side like so and that's the same orientation for all four of them So these potentiometers, uh, the guide said to 
Well, they obviously don't fit into these holes, uh, but the guide said to try and bend the, them into like a taco shape. I tried that with different pliers. I tried to cut them in half, which didn't work. So I think it's kind of shitty actually on their part that they didn't find ones that fit or that they didn't design the PCBs with holes big enough to fit. It was kind of shitty. Um, what I ended up doing was taking the Dremel tool and just cut them. Uh, I'll splice in some video here. I ran into a few issues getting uh, the demo app to compile for the board. Turned out I had to delete the ESP32 folder from my Arduino hardware directory and reinstall all that. So I don't know if something got messed up there was an, or if there was an update that wouldn't overwrite, but got it installed and compiling. So turn it on here. It's just basically some simple demo code that shows how to use the buttons and everything. Kind of a weak demo actually. I don't know if I haven't tried to plug this in. I don't know if there's any audio coming out or not. I guess we'll find out. Oh, maybe not. Apparently there is no audio in this demo. I haven't really looked at the code. But anyways, everything seems to work. Um, I may try and mess around and uh, come up with something. If so, uh, check out the blog post. I'll include any code there or link to any updates if I update later.